Hello everyone, I'm KRS Sam, the best one comes to talk to the rest. So since pneumonia is coming out this week, I've decided that we're going to bring back the tier list. This time we're doing Blue Sky. Blue Sky Studios was an animation company that was made in part with a Fox before it got like killed off by Disney. So um, there's that as well. I do look forward to um, watching it if I ever get the chance because right now I'm kind of busy with other stuff related to the channel. But I do want to watch it before the end of the year. Um, so we have all the lineup here. Let's explain um, all the films here. We have Masterpiece, which means this is the top tier right here. This is the best one ever. We have Good. It's essentially like, it's a pretty good film, but I wouldn't cine consider cinema, I guess. That's the word we use here. Um, great. Uh, not good, not bad. It's just in the middle. Bad. Terrible. I don't ever want to watch this again. Um, and never seen. This is essentially movies that I've never seen, and I can't necessarily comment on. Um, um, I've seen the majority of these. I feel like there's only like one or two that I haven't seen yet. Um, pneumonia, pneumonia, I think that's how you pronounce it? Pneumonia? Pneumona? No, it's pneumonia. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> I was just saying it like it's a disease or something. Um. I haven't seen that yet. I want to try to. I'm going to try to, but um, right now I have to do this and other stuff. We have two big reviews coming up this month, so that's probably why. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the first one, Ice Age. Masterpiece. That's easy to determine. To have a film that good, as well as make it funny, you do a good storytelling, you make it like them actually characters and not just walk and cut out cardboards cut out cardboard <laughs> cardboard cutouts sorry it really makes sense you're doing a good job you're really doing um pretty amazing um originally diego was supposed to die in this so i really would love if they kept that in even though like he doesn't die it's still a very good film it's a very i have to review that on the channel because i feel like it was very top tier if you know what i mean i'm a mammal that cares Moving on, we have Charlie Brown. The Charlie Brown movie. The Peanuts movie, sorry. I'm getting it all confused. Um, it was great. I mean, I didn't really like the storytelling in there last time I remember watching it. It's been years since I've seen that movie, so it might be good now. But when I first watched it, I was like, it's not bad, it's not good, it's just great. I love the visuals in there. But that's it, I didn't really like the storytelling. So yeah, it's pretty great. I guess that's the best way to put it. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, some people say it paved the way for Spider-Verse. I could see that because some of the visuals in that because it had like a comic book-y feel in it. in it. And the Peanuts were comics, so that makes sense for it to have a comic book feel in there. That's, say, that's why I say I like the visuals because it makes freaking sense. Schroeder, where's your piano? This age, I think this is the fifth one. Yeah, that's the fifth one. Never seen it. Never seen it. I probably won't ever see it because I have no idea where that's actually streaming or if it's like on DVD still. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, Fart in Hand. Never seen it. I know John Cena is in it and that's it. I want to watch it though. I'm very curious. Maybe it's a very good film. I have no idea. Um, Spies in Disguise. Never seen it. I've never seen Spies in the Sky. People say it was a very good film for Blue Sky. It had Tom Holland and Will Smith in it, so I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, it's rewind time. To robots. Um, it's pretty good. It's good. I like it. People are going to give me flack for saying, oh, you're a part of Roblox. It's a masterpiece. What's it? I just think it's good. I just think it's good. I like the villain. I like the character designs. I love, like, um... Some people say it's, like, a economical message where the rich get richer from the poor, I guess. I, I don't really see that because I'm not really into, like, understanding messages and dissecting them. I'm only... I'm only persuading stuff that I gain from it. So that's why, like, I can't really comment on, like, the rich get richer scenario. Because, like, I haven't perceived enough information to where I could comment on that. But, um, I'll put it as pretty good. Like, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. Um, I wouldn't say that's, like, the magnum opus of it. It's very funny. It has a good cast. Um, 
Ratchet's one of the best comedic villains in that whole movie. And I guess that's, like, the only thing I can say. Um, weird love triangle, too. Like, have y'all ever seen that? Oh, we gotta talk about Dummy Thick Big Wall as well. Um, very big. Well, so, <laughs> there's that. And, um, I guess, like, the world is cool, I guess. It's robots. But, um, I don't really know what to make. Like, I like it. I don't say it's the worst thing on here. I'm just saying... I don't really consider it a masterpiece because I don't really a big fan of the character designs in this film. So that's why it's probably good. No, it's not probably good. It's mostly good. Well, then why is she called Aunt Fanny? Couldn't call her Aunt Booty. Oh my goodness! So there's that. Ice Age 2. Good. I'll put it behind, um... I don't know. Ice Age 2 is pretty good. I wasn't, I think it was better, I remember watching a lot more than Robots because, um, I don't know, I guess Ice Age 2 was good. I mean, it doesn't really have, like, a threat in here, it's got these two sea creatures, but that's about it. And, um, like, and with Robots it was actually a threat, sorry, plural, threats there. Um, there's Ratchet and Madame Gasket. Um. Ice Age 2 is pretty good. I love that it developed more on Manny's story. However, I really do feel like it's sort of written out as arc to where he doesn't really have a family. or, But it did try to expand with it with Ellie. Ellie's a pretty chill character. Like, she does, she's an orphan too. Like, she doesn't have a family. So, hopefully, like, they'll do something with it. Um, I think it's pretty good. Like, I think it's pretty good. Like, I would say it's better than Robots. But Ice Age 2 is pretty like a good follow up um I will say this though it's pretty bold for them to have Manny look for another wife considering how he is so touchy about the feeling of having a family like they even touch on that in the film they even just they, like show to us like how they feel about him having a family how it makes it like feel a little like emotional and how it shows how he feels sad. There's this one guy in there that says, when was the last time you even seen another mammoth? Like, that's kind of insulting, man. Like, my whole species is dead and you're just making fun of me. Like, seriously, what the heck's the matter with you? They also touch on that ideology, which I think makes it a little messy. So, they need to, like, I feel like they want to do, like, a plot where they, like, Manny feels self-conscious to where he might be the only mammoth left. Then he meets Ellie, he starts fall in love with him, trying to save his species. There's a lot of save your species, like, type lingo here in the studio. I just realized that. But, um... I'll say this, though. It's pretty good. That's all I'm really thinking. Um, I don't want to talk any more about Ice Age 2. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? Lucky, there's a family guy, and he's coming up next. We have to do Ice Age sometime. I want to review all of it. Um, Horton Hears a Who. It was a good film. I really liked it. Um, I need to think about what happens first before I decide if I'm really sure about this. Um, I really liked um, this movie. It's actually really good. I'm putting it in front of Ice Age. Because, like... I love I love the original story. I actually love the original Dr. Seuss book. This felt way more in style with um, Theodore Geisel's like designs than it actually did for the other two movies, which was How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Cat in the Hat. Um, to my knowledge right now, Illumination has done two, I believe. I'm pretty sure they've done two. And this is Blue Sky's only attempt. I actually like Blue Skies Attack. I actually love Super Mario Wonder here. So, that's pretty amazing if you ask. Steve Car is Steve Carell? Yeah, Steve Carell's in this. Who played Horton? I don't remember who played Horton. Um, Seth Rogen was in it. There was a Karen in there. I think that was her actual... No, she was the kangaroo. That's it. Um, I love the colors of it. I love how they... All, like, they really show how different the two worlds are. Like, Horton's world's, like, sort of greenish-brown because he's in the jungle. However, Whoville's, like, bright and colorful because it's an actual city. That's called good color design right there. Um, so yeah, I'll put it good. I don't know if I'll put it above robots, man, because... I, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, a robot... I don't know. 
that's the thing. Like, Horn Hears a Who was actually, like, I don't know if it's really funnier than Robots, but I would say it's as good as Ice Age 2, the Meltdown, so there's that as well. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Listen up, March 14th. Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Um, I put it great. I mean, I don't remember much about what happened. That's all I remember is that Sid takes care of three children that aren't his, and he, he basically kidnaps them. Let's just word it that way. He kidnaps three dinosaur children that are not his and raises them as if he's own. That's called kidnapping, buddy. So that's pretty much it. To watch a film and not remember anything about it, that's how you know it's not really a good film. That's like how I've done a lot of times a few times. We're like... You're questioning what happens, why we're doing this and why we're doing that, as well as you don't remember what happened in this film, and you're like paying like your full attention to it. That just shows you that the film you're watching is bad. That just shows it right there. And I feel like that's what they did in Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I'm now just starting to remember what happens because I'm thinking about this movie. And you're like putting the pieces together, like you're trying to get the machine to work. Um. Not the best Ice Age film. I want to be completely honest with you. I have yet to see Collision Course to where I could say it's not the best Ice Age film. But judging by how everyone else feels about this, no one liked it. No one liked Collision Course. Dawn of the Dinosaurs was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. They really should have just ended it off of after the Meltdown. The Meltdown was a pretty good ending if you remember it. Ice Age 3, I didn't really like it. I didn't like the whole thing with dinosaurs. You're telling me! You're telling me that this whole civilization of dinosaurs got buried in the ice underneath us this whole time, and whenever the ice melted in the last film, they somehow didn't escape? You're really gonna tell me that? You are really gonna tell me that? Okay, that's why you're a great film. You're not bad, but you're not good either. So, take that into note. It's a boy. That's its tail. Um, Rio. Um, <laughs> gosh. I don't really know how to feel about Rio. I wouldn't say it's like the best film I'm hearing. It's not bad. But the thing is, like, when you think of something that's good. Like, I, I've i seen this movie, like, I've seen, I've seen I've, <laughs> I think a couple of times here. But... Um, I was looking at something on my phone, I'm sorry. When I think of this movie, I don't really remember much of it. All I know is that this bird right here is trying to get with this bird right here to save their species. This is immediately like Ice Age 2. This is legitimately Ice Age 2. However, this film actually is trying to save the species here. And, um, like, the whole thing about Rio is that you're trying to find a reason for these two to fall in love with each other. And eventually the film does, but I don't like rooting for this main character. I really don't. He's a loser! He's a loser! You feeling sorry for yourself? Like, he's just a legit loser. The whole point of a main character is where you have to meet a middle ground. You don't want to make him too of a pathetic weakling to where he doesn't connect with anyone. But you don't want to make him too strong to where he has, like, plot armor in that he can fight through, like, everything. Like, you put him against a volcano, he's walking through that thing right there. Like, you got to find a middle ground with these characters. And I didn't really feel like they did with, like, Blue. They just made him a uh, annoyed loser who doesn't know how to fly. Oh, oh, Becca, Becca, you're telling me. You're telling me that you're a bird who doesn't know how to fly. You're like, you're a bird, don't know how to fly. Like, that's the thing that I didn't understand about this film. I just now remember that now. You're telling me that you're a bird who's learned how to fly his whole life. You haven't learned to fly. It's because you're in Minnesota. You've seen birds fly. You've seen two geese, uh, geese, sorry for wrong nouns here, fly. Yet you've never connected the dots of how to do that. You've read books about flying, yet you can't do it? 
Are you telling me that's the reason why? You didn't want to get dirty? So yeah, Rio's bad. <laughs> Kill me! Kill me! <laughs> um, Continental Drift. Ah, uh, I'm good. It's a good film. I like Continental Drift. Um, somehow they make boats. <laughs> you know, we could argue about the logistics of, like, logic and animated films, but what would it do? What would that honestly do? What would it really honestly do? Probably nothing. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I love Peter Dinklage as the villain in here. Again, Peter Dinklage, top tier actor. He's really amazing. They have the majority of the cast here. But they brought Wanda, Wanda Sykes in. Wanda Sykes plays an elderly woman in this. Who has a pet whale named Precious. I am not kidding about any of this stuff, by the way. Um, if you guys saw the SpongeBob review, we had that out. Mainly because um, we don't want to talk about the other one here. So, that's that. Um, Peach, is in the, Peach is in this. Not, not, not the Princess Bowser. Um, the character. The fact that they named their daughter Peaches just, like, baffles me right there. It just legitimately baffles me. Um. I'm trying to think of what else happens. We meet Sid's family. We forgot. He had a family. He had a family. Did we need to? No, not really. But we did. We met him. I'm gonna put this in that crate. I'm gonna put... I feel like this is a great film. I'll put it above Dawn of the Dinosaur and, um... The Peants, because, um, I'm, I thought I almost said something else right there. I'm sorry. Um, it's not the worst, okay? It's not bad. But, like, I feel like a lot of people after they left this theater felt like, you know, four is enough. We, we really don't need a fifth one. Like, you've already, like, done your, you've already made enough money to Ice Age. I'm not blue. This is why people was, like, really starting to consider that Blue Sky was just Ice Age Studios. In fact, I'm pretty sure after this was made, there was announcements for an Ice Age the series for Disney XD, but it never got made. We still have no information about that. So, somewhere in the Disney vault, there is an Ice Age the series in promo on, like, a DVD or something. So, there's that. Um, final thoughts on Ice Age Collision Course. No, a Continental Drift. Sorry. Um... It's great. It's not the worst film. It's great. But I really do feel like people were starting to get, like, bored of it to where they were like, Okay, sh Blue Sky, we get it! You make Ice Age. You've made four of these. Can we please stop? And uh, that's why they, like, sort of just stopped doing those. Uh, I'll, we'll never know, like, the full extent of canceled films from Blue Sky that were supposedly in production but got shelved for Ice Age so that'll probably be one of this one of Hollywood's most unsolved mysteries right there mm, that's a little <laughs> <laughs> moving on because we're almost done here we're almost done um epic Epic is a good is one of those masterpieces man a lot of people think it's born but it's not it's actually a really good film. It was adapted from... What was the name of the girl that did, um... William Joyce. That's it. It was adapted by William Joyce. The character designs were cool. They were very unique. Um, Beyonce played the main character in it. One of the most shocking deaths in animation film. Right next to Mufasa right there. Karis from the Future put that clip in right now. Do the hor do the horrible live action version too, since people really want um, to understand our grievances with the live action universe of Disney films. Scar, brother, help me! love Epic. It was one of the very few Blue Sky films that I remember watching a lot. Um, it was honestly a very good film. 
MK, Mary Kate, I think that was her name, was actually a very good protagonist. She wasn't just a damsel in distress. She wasn't a weakling. She wasn't Miss Perfect. She was a middle ground of a character where you could feel for her. You could feel her trying to connect with her father. She, her dad's trying to connect with her, and they both find a middle ground towards the end of the film. I am very. I would be very interested to see what they would do in a sequel, perhaps. But I highly doubt we'll ever get one because Blue Sky shut down, and I don't think there's a sequel. And I don't think William Joyce made a sequel for made a sequel for the original story. So it's pretty sad. A lot of people don't really know this, but William Joyce made a lot of our childhood. He made Roly Poly Oli. He made Epic. He made. I'm pretty sure he also made Meet the Robinsons, which is why I like it as well. But yeah, Epic's a very good film. Check it out. Um, CeeLo Green's in it. Pitbull's in it. Beyonce's in it. Um, it's actually a really good film. And I really would love if we can like get a follow-up or a remake. Make it animation, though. Don't make it live action. Unless you've got like some of the top-tier guys doing it, don't make it live action. You fucking unemployed bitch! Okay, last film. Guys, last film! Um, Rio 2. Never seen it. I did watch Double Toast review on it, but I don't really consider me watching the movie if you just watch a review, because it doesn't really, like, give your time to thoughts. Reviews are essentially, like, other people's thoughts on the film. Like, when you watch Nostalgia Critic review, like, the Smurfs 2, you're not really watching the Smurfs 2. You're watching that guy give his thoughts on the Smurfs too. Like, that's the whole point of, like, watching the movies yourself. You want to collect your own thoughts. Just like with, like, Kill Counts, um, the Nostalgia Critic, Catechorus, and many other people that do reviews, you have to have, like, your own experiences. You can't just base them on what other people say. It's good if you're, like, listening, like, listening to other people's thoughts on stuff. Like, it's fine if you like that, but eventually you need to get to that grasp where you have to make your own mind up of things. Like, it's good to have those as references, but you have to make up your own mind about it. So when I watched the Old Toaster review, I was like, this is very interesting. I like to hear their thoughts about it. Um, I probably won't watch Real 2 because of how they said they were bad, but I would like to check it out just to like for fun. I remember watching a small bit of it. That's it. That's all I ever watched of it. Just like five second clips of it when it was on TV and I just didn't watch it. If I remember correctly from the review, there was, um, what was the guy called? There was like a bulldozing company that was trying to tear down the rainforest and Blue is trying to find more blue macaws with his life jewel. Did I say jewel or jewel? I'm pretty sure I said jewel. Um... So he's trying to meet the parents. It's like a meet the parents bad plot. So I remember when the trailer came out. And uh, it was on YouTube. And I was like, oh, Rio 2 is announced. I'll just watch the trailer. Oh, it's meet the parents. I'm not watching this now. So there's that. I don't want to watch it, though. Just for like, for like shits and giggles. So maybe it'll be good. Maybe not. Probably not. I didn't even like the first Rio. Like, the first Rio is average. Like, it's, I would say it's great. It's bad. But it's not really the way I would go, oh, I would want this movie on 24-7, 365. George Lopez is in it. I don't remember what Rio 2 is, but a lot of people think it's the worst Blue Sky phone next to Collision Course. But I just have to wait and see. <laughs> ah, I don't want to watch that. Kids, go easy on old Pop Pop. You can call me sir. Um, final recap before we end the video. Ice Age and Epic are the math. Let's start off. Let's start off the let the let's start off at the bottom. Never seen is Rio Two, Spies in Disguise, Fart in Hand, and Ice Age. I do want to watch Fart in Hand though. I really do. I, this isn't just like me saying it for fluff and filler. I really do want to watch this movie because John Cena was in it, and a lot of people think it's pretty good. So I do want to watch this. Um, bad is Rio, for obvious reasons. I feel like people are going to want a review of that. I have to, like, go back in old videos and make notes of what reviews we should do. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, moving on to Great. Great right here. We have Ice Age, 
I see your Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Um, Snoop, the Peanuts movie. The Peanuts, not the other word. And we have Continental Drift. This is probably the best, the second good film here. Um, Ice Age 2, The Meltdown, Horton Hears a Who, and Robots. These are the good films that I really like from the library. I think it's a really good lineup. And Masterpieces from Blue Sky is the first Ice Age epic. Um, epic, in my opinion, is a very visual film. It's very brightly colored. Like, if you go to this place, it just isn't the same. And if you go to this place, it's completely different. Like, it gives, like, the whole, like, open world experience to me. So, that's why I really like Epic. But, yeah, guys, this was my Blue Sky tier list. Let me know if I left anything in the comments down below. And I'll respond to them. Usually in an hour or two when the movie comes out. Let me all know what you all thought of this tier list. Let me know where you would put these movies at. I'm open to hear other people's thoughts. And until next time, I'm KRS and I'm the best one comes to talk to the rest. And I'll see y'all then. See ya. I'm not going to say bye this time because um, I'm trying something new. If you ain't ready for this dick, then you can't wear my sweatshirt. Cause if you ain't gonna be my hoe, you damn sure can't wear my clothes. Girl, you can't wear my sweatshirt. Girl, I'm just trying to nut and put my fingers in your butt. Girl, damn it, I think that's bad. That last part's fucked.